So let's talk about something practical, tactical that you can implement in your work, right? When it comes to building relationships and trust. Now, um, there are different schools of thought on the validity and purity of this intent. But I just got off the phone um, with a friend and we talked about different ideas and different ways that he could, you know, really validate who in his kind of inner circle is trustworthy, right? Who can be given information ahead of time that may not be ready for prime time just yet? And, um, you know, can they be trusted to keep that to themselves until um, time is, is, is um, you know, has arrived for that information to be shared with everybody else? Whether it's strategic changes, growth, new projects, new clients, and so forth. Sometimes, you know, you get to have certain information because you're in a leadership position and you really can't and should not share with the whole company just yet. So we talk about a lot of different things and one of the ideas that I suggested that he laughed at and then he said, wow, that actually makes sense. I'm going to try and do that is selectively feed information to different people. And here's what I mean. If you have three individuals in your inner circle who are new, right, or you're new to their circle and you haven't truly vetted the trust and reliability just yet. Tell person A a little bit of information that pertains to one, number one. Person B, and only person B, information that pertains to number two. And then person C, only person, information that pertains to number three. They could all be factual, they can be current, they can be relevant, they can be completely made up, right? doesn't matter what, what it is, but make sure that only one person knows one thing and then the second person knows something else and a third person knows something else and let them go about their business. And you will see if any of those pieces of information come back, sometimes this might take weeks, but if there, any of that information comes back to you from somebody else other than the person you spoke with, you know who the leak is, so to speak. You know who spoke first and who's sharing information, even though you've asked them to keep it confidential and, and under wraps for now. So it's one of many different strategies to figure out um, who's trustworthy, but I have used that in the past. I know other people who have used that in the past. And the, the, um, it tends to work. Not always, but it tends to work. Those who are gonna talk and gossip are gonna talk and gossip and it's only a matter of time before that information comes back to you. And if it's information you know, about number three, you know it's person C because the only person who knew about that is person C and so forth. So have a wonderful day. Let me know what you think and share some of your ideas as to that could be implemented to assess trustworthiness um, in the business place. Have a great day.